Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We go behind the scenes to see how the popular Krispy Kreme donuts are made, as well as an insight into the special recipe used to make this delicacy. Everyone loves donuts, especially when they are hot and glazed in cream. Whether you get a box of donuts at a birthday party or buy one yourself to satisfy a craving, there is no wrong time to have some donuts. And you'd agree that there are a lot of donut manufacturers to choose from. Of all the options that exist, Krispy Kreme donuts are one of the best out there. There are many things to love about these donuts, one of them being the creamy glaze that just melts in your mouth after each bite. Krispy Kremes have a unique taste compared to others, even the homemade ones. Thanks to their special combination of ingredients, these ingredients include flour, baking powder, salt, varying amounts of eggs, milk, sugar, and flavoring. While these are regular donut ingredients, one of the things that makes Krispy Kreme donuts different is the leavening agent used to make the dough rise. Many commercially produced donuts are leavening using chemicals. However, Krispy Kreme donuts are leavened using yeast. And although the process is longer and more tedious, it results in the light textured donuts we all love. The production of Krispy Kreme donuts begins the moment the open sign in front of each door glows and only freshly produced donuts are sold every day. Over 20 million Krispy Kremes are produced annually, and it all begins with the mixing of the dough. First, a factory worker pours a secret flour mix into the mixer. The exact components of this mix have been kept secret since the company's inception in 1937. And while we can speculate on the components of this mix, the measurements of each one remains unknown. This is yet another factor that makes Krispy Kremes difficult to replicate. The secret flour mix contains special amounts of flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk, eggs, flavoring, and yeast. And finally, water is added in. The mixer combines all these ingredients for exactly 14 minutes, and by then, a consistent dough is formed. A factory worker removes the dough from the mixer and places it in a container. Using their hands, the worker beats and sways the dough and checks for the temperature to ensure it's between 86 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, the dough is transferred to a hopper, where it's allowed to rest for precisely 10 minutes. After resting in the hopper, the dough is mass transferred to a pressurized chamber, which forces it through cutters. These cutters are shaped like donuts, and the donuts get their ring shape here. The cut donuts are transferred from the cutter to a climate-controlled box through a conveyor system. In this box, the donuts are arranged on hanging racks and are allowed to rest for about 30 minutes. The temperature, humidity, and other physical conditions in the box create the perfect environment for the yeast to act, therefore causing the donuts to rise. By the end of the 30 minutes, the donuts become plump and more donut-like compared to the flat rings initially placed inside the box. After spending 30 minutes in the climate-controlled box, the donuts are dropped into the fryer, which contains oil preheated to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the fryer, the donuts are allowed to cook for about two minutes on each side, making the exterior of the donuts brown while ensuring it is well-cooked on the inside. Next, the donuts are taken to the donut theater, where they are glazed in the staple white creamy coat or other flavors of creams and sprinkles, depending on your order. The next step is the glazing of the donuts, which is everyone's favorite part. However, what is donut glazing made from? The sweet creamy glaze is made using just three ingredients, powdered sugar, whole milk, and vanilla extract. First, the milk is boiled for a few minutes, and after the required temperature is achieved, it is taken off the heat and powdered sugar is added. The sugar melts in the hot milk, and for the extra flavoring, the vanilla extract is added as well. Finally, the glaze is ready and passed through a cascading waterfall machine. As the hot glaze flows down the fountain, the fresh, hot donuts are passed under as well, giving the donuts their finishing touch. When the glaze cools, the melted sugar hardens, which gives the donut the crustiness it's known for. Next, the donuts are boxed or placed on display in Krispy Kreme restaurants worldwide. 
Approximately 72,000 donuts go through this process every day in all Krispy Kreme outlets, where customers enjoy these crispy donuts with a cup of hot coffee. Some people prefer to eat their Krispy Kremes while it's hot, while others wait for it to cool to enjoy the crispy sugary coating. However, you can't go wrong either way, because the glaze melts in your mouth regardless. It's easy to consider donuts as a 21st century comfort food. However, that's not the case. This snack has been around for much longer, but it was produced quite differently from Krispy Kremes in those days. Donuts are believed to come from the 18th century Dutch of New Amsterdam where they are referred to as olijkoeks, meaning oily cakes. They were a great favorite at the Midwest and Northwest lumbering camps as they were easy to make and full of calories needed to provide quick energy for laborious logging jobs. A Russian immigrant named Levitt invented the donut machine in 1920 that automatically pushed a donut-shaped ring directly into the fryer. These machine-made donuts were a hit at the 1934 World's Fair and remarkably increased the production of donuts. Krispy Kreme sugar-drenched donuts were produced for the first time in 1937, three years after the introduction of machine-made donuts. The founder of the company, Vernon Rudolph, loved the donuts made by a chef in New Orleans, so he purchased the recipe from the chef, took it all the way to North Carolina, and started his own donut restaurant. Together with his brother Louis, Vernon diligently grew their small business, and after a series of financial ups and downs, the business finally attained stability. And as they say, the rest is history. Krispy Kreme donuts are still produced using the initial recipe, and even though there are now several variants, all of them are still based on this recipe. In 2007, Krispy Kreme started selling whole wheat glazed donuts made with fewer calories and more fiber to appeal to their health conscious customers. Much later, the company also introduced several candy coated donuts with Jelly Belly jelly beans, sour gummies, and marshmallows. Other Krispy Kreme flavored collections include the Pumpkin Spice Donut Collection, the Donut Flavored Jelly Belly jelly beans, the Peanut Butter Glazed Donuts, and many more. These variants are sold in all of the 1400 Krispy Kreme restaurants worldwide, and in addition to the delicious donuts, other products they offer include iced beverages, coffee, soft drinks, other pastries, hot chocolate, etc. In the US alone, there are 307 Krispy Kreme outlets, all of which offer the many flavors of donuts that the company produces. If you have a sweet tooth or a craving to satisfy, you will definitely find a flavor that tickles your fancy in the outlet closest to you. These donuts are made under strict supervision and according to a recipe that is at least 85 years old, so you can rest easy. The company's estimated net worth in March of 2023 is about $2.24 billion, making it one of the world's largest donut manufacturers. Currently, Krispy Kreme produces delicious donuts on six continents, and as the company continues to expand worldwide, its net worth is expected to increase in the coming years. What's your favorite Krispy Kreme variant? Leave your answer in the comments section below.